Hello folks, Jerry and welcome back to Racing Alice, and today we will be taking a look at the 1970 Camaro Race Edition, or Travels Edition, I'm just gonna call it RE because, well, that's what it says there. Anyways, um, I do not own this car, in fact, it was loaned to me by Dark Helmet with a lot of spaces in his name, so thanks for that. I uh, couldn't max it out in time, so uh, what I did is I simply 1652 did, this guy just fucked me over, because I in fact got a perfect launch. And I'll be honest, I do not like this car, and I will explain why in this video. Now, uh, I'm gonna try to be as objective as possible, but there's really not much I can do about this. Uh, so, uh, first off, I guess we can as well go through the tune. Uh, it is a 1650 status 3 tune that I built uh, for this car. It is not good, and I'm not good with this car. I, I hate this car, and this car hates me right back, so no worries anyways. Uh, as you guys can see, engine damage minus 0 0.9 because fuck logic, it's pretty much zero. So clutch is stage one, transmission is stage one, and the weight reduction is stage one, and suspension is stage two. So that's optimal. I know it's definitely not optimal for the 1650 lobby. In fact, uh, I ran versus a person who was in the same car already, uh, earlier. He could hit 9.4s and they struggled uh, to hit 9.5s, so there's that also, I guess I can might as well point out. I installed a bunch of different tires on this car because you can kind of control the way this car drives. So I have it right in the middle, uh, pretty much the max tires make the car launch, same as the top full dragster, which makes it super inconsistent. Well, it's actually more consistent, but the times are shit. And then you have these tires which just make the car unlaunchable, at least in my opinion. So I decided to be somewhat in the middle, um, but I really do not like the way this car drives. I do not like this car, period. I prefer fucking JDM cars, you know, I'll take an Evo over a Camaro any day. But, you know, it's still, it looks nice, I'm gonna give it that much. I mean, uh, the 1970 Camaro is... Uh, a previous turf car, it is the C-Class uh, turf car, one of the few ones, and uh, I mean, like, oh, we just challenged the person who went out of the lobby, that's fucking great, 30 seconds wasted, it's cool, no really, it's not, but I guess I can might as well keep on complaining about the car, this car launches very similar to the Fiber Street Edition, which means that it's, it's shit, at least for me, because you have to stop having way before the first light comes on, in fact, it's super similar, uh, well, I, I've already said that, but uh, you have to stop running as soon as the launch button comes on, and that's with the tires I currently have equipped, so, yeah, not a huge fan, I guess you can might as well just race random people, hopefully uh, someone will, you know, give us mercy and race us, Chickens out, oh, for fuck's sake, come on. Really, you're gonna load for that time? Jesus Christ, okay. As you guys can see, uh, or hear from my uh, from the tone of my voice, I'm not a huge fan of the car. Also, I have a fucking exam tomorrow, which is shit, but this guy races us. I think I messed it up, pretty much, yeah. Anyways, um, if I have, I mean, if I uh, try to get a better RT there, I would just, you know, get traction loss. So I cannot get consistent times with this car. I cannot get good reaction times with this car. And I don't know the shifting. I mean, it's very early at around 6k. Uh, and that's really all I can tell you. I mean, I shifted around 6. Point, um, 1k, something like that. I really don't know what's optimal for this car. Maybe this car uh, drives better when it's max. Oh god, I just fucked it up completely. Yeah. Because, like, I just did the Z28 launch on a 1970 Camaro. That's not gonna fucking work. This car has six gears, which is something that the fucking Evo we just raced doesn't have, which is fucking weird. But, you know, whatever. I mean... Ignoring the RT, that would still be a shit time, so just ignore that. Uh, oh wait, yeah, we can raise this guy. 
he well you guys will see the video in around two days but he really helped me out so huge shout out to this person you guys will know why in two days mm. that's a nice Nismo I mean I think it's duplicated but you know most first place cars from that period were so not much we can do about that let's try to get a few more runs here no man I'm not doing that sorry uh Aventador challenges us. Yeah, sure, man. I would definitely much rather be driving that Aventador than this thing. Okay, I mean, this should be, like, the best time I've ever gotten with this car. Granted, I don't know how to launch it and shit, but... Okay, I know how to launch it. It's just that I'm shit with it. And that's one of the reasons why I don't like this car, like... Yeah, that's pretty much... Is that a storm outside? Holy shit. But yeah, I guess this is like the fucking uh, headline for this video. I don't like this car. 9.5, okay. I mean, you can get better times with this car. I believe that the guy uh, managed to run mid 9.4s with a different tune, I'm assuming. Maybe he just knew better shifting points. Maybe the first gear has to be shifted late. I don't know. This is not a very informative video. This is just me giving out my opinion. Uh... Like, is, is he serious right now? Holy shit. Is he, is he seriously gonna give me that? Like, um... Oh my god, I just did the Z28 launch again. Fucking hell, dude. I would definitely much rather be driving a Z28 in this thing. Fucking hell. Well, uh... Okay, I mean... Is that other guy Ionic really gonna give me a fucking R32? You sure? Cause like, I don't know. GG. I would add a crying emoji here, but uh, you know. Eh. I mean, if by GG he means garbage game, then yeah. Not a garbage game, just a garbage few rounds with this car. I mean, the car does look pretty mean, and that's really the only thing I like it for, kinda. Huh. Mm. Your call. I mean, I'm gonna be, I obviously would like it, but you know. Uh, so, first place, dude. Does it have the Dymo no, charm? Yeah, the Dino charm, not the Dymo charm. Ch charm, not charm, what the fuck. It's it's a first place... Jesus Christ, it's a first place dupe. Did I just say first place rams? Man, I... I'm way into... Uh, way too much into first place rams. Why did I just type that out? I have no idea. This is such a confusing episode. Uh, episode. Like, I'm stressed the fuck out at the moment because of the geography exam. I have no idea how it's gonna go, I need like 35% more to pass Matura, which you guys don't know what is, and I'm really thankful that she don't. Oh, he fouled. I mean, I would probably get traction loss anyway, but, you know, still. Uh, well, let's see what he wants to do. I mean, the card is very nice. I do have a... A few other 32s, but none have those, uh, I mean, that wrap in particular. Uh, free run, fair enough. I mean... Like, I guess my final opinion on this card, since I'm not really gonna get... Uh, you know, more into it. It's okay. Definitely not my cup of tea, if that's what you call it. Uh, yeah, I'm gonna give this car back to uh, Dark Helmet, and I'm never touching it again unless, you know, I will eventually have to resell one of these, because I'm not a fan. So, uh, that's really it. Thank you guys for watching, and I'm, uh, I'm gonna see you in the next video. Bye!